First in this position, Grandmaster Shakri Armamid Yarov sacrificed the rook. The art of sacking in chess. Undoubtedly the most exciting aspect of the game. In this series, a guy who sacks a lot at chess is going to walk you through some of his techniques. Hello to all the peace sucking addicts. <laughs> in today's episode, I would like to share with you this unknown trap in the Max Lang attack. So to get this opening on the board, we first play for the Italian game. And for example, after bishop to c5, we play this early d4. And after some really common moves, we can reach this position. So this is known as the Max Lang attack. By the way, this is one of my favorite openings to play as white because it is just so full of nasty traps and usually my opponents are not well prepared in these lines. If you would be interested in some in-depth analysis, check out my older video. So what I don't cover in that video is this trap. So we are going to of course play pawn to e5 to harass the knight. Uh, the best move here for black is pawn to d5, but the most played move in the Lich's database is knight to g4. That is known as the Spielman defense. And if you are not above 2000, then you are going to be seeing knight to g4 a lot in your games, like I do. So knight to g4, the Spielman defense. Here you have a bunch of moves how you can continue, like the stockfish is recommending bishop to f4 or pawn to c3. But there is an other move which you can play. And since this video is about sacrificing, yes, we have a common tactic with bishop captures on f7. So the problem for black is that this knight is unguarded and after they capture the bishop, which is what they should do, if they don't capture the bishop, now this position really sucks for black. <laughs> so most guys are going to capture. And of course, now we have the move knight to g5, which is a check, and also we are hitting this knight. So most guys here go king to g8, which is a correct move, and now we can play... <laughs> we are actually not going to recapture the piece back, in sake of keeping the position super tricky. So this is the rare idea, and if we look at the moves, it is actually only played 1% of the time but scores better than just capturing the knight. Whoops, so after queen to f3, what's going on? Well, we are threatening a checkmate, so black better deal with this. And there appear some nice ways how to defend the checkmate and also save the knight. And if we look at the most played moves, the most played moves are knight g captures or knight c captures on e5. And it looks super nice for black because after this capture, the checkmate is prevented, the knight is saved, the queen is hit, also a pawn is wind, win <laughs> on e5. So why wouldn't they play this? Well, if knight c captures on g5, if knight c captures on e5, then they are totally lost because of the following tactics. Queen to d5 check. Now there is nothing to block this check with, except this knight, but that's checkmate. <laughs> so king is forced to go to f8. And now we have this beautiful move, knight to e6. It is a fork and also it is a pin. So in Eric's terminology, this is a pork. <laughs> Of course, they cannot capture because we win the queen. And if they don't capture the knight, then they have to move the king and we win the queen like this. So this is how quickly you can win with this trick. But unfortunately, this only works with knight c captures on e5, which is only played like 23% of the time. The most common move is knight g captures on e5. And also there is the third most played move, which is queen to e7. By the way, this is the correct move, but it's only played 7% of the time. Uh, I will get back to this move in the end. Now let's just have a look at the most common line. So knight g captures on e5. Well, here we are going to still go queen to d5 check and force the king to f8. And now we could just 
simply regain our piece with queen captures this bishop, but there is a better move and more tricky, and it is pawn to f4. So we still refuse to just regain our piece in sake of keeping the position tricky for black to handle. So for example, uh, if we look at the most played moves, as you can see, black are blundering all over the board here. <laughs> uh, the most correct move for black here is a ridiculous knight to f3 check. I mean, who would play this? And even if they play this, you just capture the knight and the stockfish says that this is a draw, but from the practical point of view, just uh, look at the funny king on the f file. Anyways, the most played move is hilarious. It is pawn to d3 check. They see they have a check available <laughs> and they just go for it. And they totally miss that we can just capture this bishop and it is a check. Now they have to block this with the queen or with the pawn, it doesn't really matter because on the next turn we just capture this knight and it is again a check. Black has no time to do anything but to just get harassed all over the board and now, well, we are winning because we are up a piece. So pawn to d3 check is not a very good idea for them. And then there are some other moves which loses them, like they go knight to e7 to harass the queen, but still it's this check, and on the next turn we are developing a checkmate. And the same would be for pawn to h6, again, just we capture this, and now they can either prolong the game with queen to f6, or most guys just get checkmated like this. If uh, black would like to survive a little longer, then again they would have to play queen to e7 in this position and now we of course first capture the knight and the king is forced to go to e8 and in this position if we turn on this stockfish it will say that this is kind of just a, a little bit better for white but it is so far away from reality let me explain why the thing is that all we need is just one more So we want to develop knight to a3 here, of course because c3 is uh, taken away from us. <laughs> and now we are attacking with one more piece here, and our main threat is to go knight to b5, which would be kind of a killer move. And unfortunately there are no games in the database yet, so it's hard to say what would black play here, but let me just go through some funny lines where black will mess up in some pretty normal looking variations. So let's say they will push pawn to d6 because they would like to develop the light square bishop. Well, turns out this is a pretty bad mistake because we can capture this. And now look how wide open is the e-file, just waiting for us to put a rook there. Well, unfortunately we cannot do that right now because it is Black's turn. <laughs> and yeah, they have to capture the pawn because their queen is uh, under the attack, but they cannot capture with the queen. Notice how their queen is always tied down to defense of the f7 square. So right here, queen to f7 check would be just curtains close for black. Uh, so they would have to capture with the bishop or the pawn, but it doesn't really matter. Now all we have to do is develop our bishop, so our rooks are connected, and on the next turn we just play rook to e1 and there is no way for black to survive that position with a monster rook on e1. Okay, let's go back. How about they play pawn to h6 because they would like to harass that annoying knight away. Well, this is a nice move, but it doesn't prevent knight to b5 and we play knight to b5 and we want to fork them. Well, let's say they would try to stop the forking. King to d8 doesn't work because of knight to f7 fork. <laughs> doesn't really stop the forking, but help the forking. Let's say bishop to b6 to save the c7 square. Well, now we can even hit them with knight to d6 check. And if they capture the knight, well, we capture with our pawn. And not only, again, the e file is open, but now the queen is lost already because they cannot move the queen as the queen is tied down to the f7. And notice how all of these squares are just covered by our pieces. And so the only square the queen could mo move to 
is D8, but that just uh, runs into a checkmate. So the stockfish here is recommending to play queen to e6 and just trade the queen for our knight. <laughs> okay, stopping the fork doesn't help them up to knight to b5. Let's say they would at least try to grab themselves this knight and they don't mind getting forked and maybe they will try to trap the knight in the corner. <laughs> well, this doesn't work as well, because now we can even sacrifice our bishop on g5. Again, we are hitting the queen. The queen cannot leave the f7 square, but it can take the bishop, right? <laughs> well, now we hit them with this fork, and after king to d8, the pork is served again. <laughs> and if the king goes to the other square, we can force him to d8 with our rook. And yummy, yummy pork. <laughs> I wonder how many vegetarians just unsubscribed. Okay, let's go back. So the truth is pawn to h6 is just unplayable for them. Let's say they will play pawn to a6 because they want to prevent knight to b5 at first. So in this variation, we are going to be focusing on the other side of the board for a while because we have some tricks there as well. And right here, we are going to Capture the pawn on h7. What? <laughs> well, if they capture the knight, well, we have queen to g8 check. Now they have to block it with the queen and we just happily capture that. So if they cannot capture the knight, what can they do? Because our ideas are just so nasty here. With knight captures on h7, we are opening a square for our bishop to go to g5, which is a super strong move for us. But also, since the h pawn is missing, now these light square are very, very vulnerable. So just to demonstrate this, for example, let's say black would capture the pawn on e5. Now we can go knight to c4. Since they took the b5 option from us, we have c4 for our knight. And if they dare to capture the knight, now we can hit them with queen to h5 check. Now the king is forced to go to d8 and bishop to g5 wins the queen. So these are kind of the ideas to look for. Always look for bishop to g5. And also if the h pawn is missing, these light square are super weak. Oh, uh, how about they don't move any pawns? Let's say they just capture the knight right away to avoid any trouble. Well, of course we will recapture the bishop. And let me tell you the best move here for black is to po push pawn to h6. But again, just notice these light squares are going to get them. <laughs> For example, here we can just surprise them with queen to e4. And if they dare to capture the knight, we hit them with queen to g6 check. And after king to d8, again, just bishop captures on g5. Okay, guys, we could spend hours analyzing all the traps here. The sad reality is if black can find all the defensive resources there would be able to maintain this position with just a slight advantage for white but of course i'm not going to be showing this uh, variation in this video like why would i <laughs> and also the other thing is that my kids are waking up so i need to speed this up so let's go back let's go all the way to the point where we sacrificed our bishop on f7 how about they don't play king to g8, but they play king to e8? Well, in this case, just know that there are no queen to f3 tricks. In this case, we will just grab the piece back. And even though the material is equal and the stockfish says this position is equal, I think it's just much better for white because of the practical reasons. They cannot get castled and their king is a little bit exposed. And as you can see from the win rates, or white is scoring more than 60% of the time here. And in case that they play the correct move here, instead of capturing the pawn on e5, the correct move is queen to uh, e7, as I mentioned. Well, here, as the stockfish says, that this is like slightly better for black. And <laughs> you, what you can do here is you can kind of force a draw with the repeating these moves if black is into it, but they have this option to play knight to f6 to block the check. 
which is the way that they should play if they want to keep the small advantage. <laughs> but it's just, you know, a fart, uh, hard move to find. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Even if they play this, I mean, still the winning chances are for, for white, I would say. But, you know, make your own opinion on this. And the last thing I wanted to mention is if uh, they maneuver the king to e8, then just again you capture the knight on g4 and in this position Stockfish says this is equal and I believe that white is just uh, practically speaking better here with safe king and castling rights already used. Okay guys, well, I believe this is all I wanted to share about this trap. Thanks for watching, have fun and take care, bye bye.